What is your growth strategy for Gauteng and how important do you believe partnerships are with the private sector to ensure this growth? Thank you very much. Uh, let me first welcome uh, Michelle uh, to South Africa. I was quite uh, excited when I was informed he is coming in May. Uh, SAB was very much uh, part of the investment conference that uh, President Ramaphosa convenes annually. And, uh, you know, I, I got very excited when I heard that uh, he's not just coming, but, you know, ABN Bad is back, back, and SAB is back. So I said, yeah, we went through some rough patch with COVID. I think COVID-19 affected all of you here. We got affected in one way or the other. The economy was ravaged, the global economy. And uh, we focusing on rebuilding and recovery. Uh, our recovery strategy in Gauteng is uh, uh, based on uh, uh, 10 high growth sectors. Uh, we're focusing on how to expand. And one of those key sectors is, uh, 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 you know, the, the beverages uh, that uh, would include uh, basically uh, what uh, your industry is known as. Uh, the backbone of uh, small businesses in the townships uh, are the liquor traders. They've been very, very central. They are very vocal. They are very vocal representatives like Lucky Day. Uh, as we're going through the difficult times, we had had great partnerships, even with SAB. I remember uh, we were working together on the field hospital. In the midst of all the problems, we were also working together. Uh, we were working on a great project, Michelle, about an investment in the Val. A, a huge, huge investment with very, very good multi multiplier effects. Um, but you, you are a big investor in our province. Uh, you are a big player in our province. You, uh, I mean, as Richard says, the, six, more than 60% of what you produce uh, is produced out of the Gauteng economy. Uh, so of all the issues that uh, we are facing, unemployment is the biggest uh, problem we face. Uh, and I, I want to assure you, and that's what I was saying to your, the global leadership of ABN Bev, uh, that uh, Houghton government uh, would like to work with you. We are focused on economic recovery. Uh, we have been to some of your major plans, uh, Roslyn, Krugersdorp, and I, I said we are going to go to Al Road, the new one that, uh, because it's better to work with business, not so much from the boardroom. You just, we just have to go where, where things are happening. Uh, we need to see what, what business raises as the obstacles. It's the red tape, infrastructure issues, utilities, crime, skills issues. Uh, let's work on those issues. And fortunately, we, of these 10 high growth sectors that I can't take you through all of them, uh, this evening we have what we call war rooms where we, we work with industry leaders every day in our province. So these are problem solving platforms, social compacting platforms. We work uh, from the automotive industry uh, to uh, the business process outsourcing sector and to the township economy. We've got these social compacting platforms which we call war rooms, where industry leaders and government uh, leaders meet. Uh, we look at what the growth plan is of big, big players, and we also look at small business. And uh, we often ask business, what will it take you uh, to get to meet us halfway? Employment creation, business development, and bringing in uh, new players, new entrants into the sector. And we ask business also, what is it we should do to get you to invest more? So uh, that's the question, uh, Michelle. I would, I would, what, it, we will put everything uh, to grow our economy, to make sure we have inclusive growth, uh, we have recovery, we include small businesses, we include township businesses, we include 
businesses run and owned by women, uh, black enterprises. And I'm very happy to hear that you, you have brought in a, a black industrial uh, industrialist into the partnership in Al Road, and I want to go there. That's really the way to go. But let me tell you where you are most effective is in the township economy. You are extremely effective there. Uh, the people that Lucky represents uh, are the backbone of our small businesses in the townships to put bread on the table, uh, to generate wealth, intergenerational wealth. But we need to change the image of those businesses. And I'm very glad uh, of S S SAB's investments into improving the, f the, the facilities there, but also the message that uh, the industry mustn't be seen as a place for rogues, for people who abuse women, irresponsible behavior. So all that we, we are going to work together on. Uh, but Gauteng is a, a province that's a, a leading economic recovery. President Ramaphosa often says to me, if you can't get these things happening, you are holding us back. And if they start happening in Gauteng, we will feel that's the engine room of the South African economy. Uh, that, 34% of South Africa's GDP comes out of Gauteng. More than 60% of exports across all sectors. So ex your, the exports, I, when we look at the exports figures with regard to your, your products into Africa, more than 60% of the exports in almost every sector comes out of the Gauteng economy. We, the t one of the 10th largest economies in, in Africa, as, just as a region, you know, so you, we want to keep you here. So what will it take us uh, to keep you here is, is the question that I'm asking. COVID was a problem. It cost, the, we didn't know all of us what is the best way to respond. But we have drawn lessons. We know that shutting the economy does not help. Uh, we, we have learned a great deal. We are, more, we are more cautious about what to do. We don't want to go back to lockdowns anymore. And scientists are also saying that we must, we must be more measured in what, if we solve one problem, we don't want to create a bigger problem. So there are people, there are people here who are my friends for a long time, but uh, when COVID came and we shut down everything, they be we became, we stood on different sides. But you know what? This, this economy will recover and Gauteng will uh, lead the recovery. And I think, uh, I want to say AB InBev and SAB, you are, you are top on our list uh, of the, the industries as well as the the companies, the businesses that are going to help us uh, to build a more inclusive economy. And in the townships, I count on you. I know you couldn't come to Tebisa, but I know that <laughs> the people I was talking to there in Tebisa are your people. And I, I, I could commit to you there that you couldn't come today, but we are going to be working together. So thank you very much, Michelle, for for coming here and uh, I'm going to work with, with, uh, with Richard and I'm going to work with Ricardo. Ricardo is sitting somewhere. Where is Ricardo? He's outside. Uh, we'll work with you. And then our stakeholders. Uh, these guys can be very difficult. Uh, they pump me with all kind of messages. Uh, when things are not going. But they also know that when we discuss the regulations, I represent them uh, too. <laughs> they, they often send things to me. When you go to the command council, please raise the following concerns. Yeah, we have to represent all sectors, but uh, we're quite excited, I must tell you. We're very excited about the partnership. And once more, thank you, Michelle, for visiting our country. And I'm sure the president reassured you about uh, how much uh, we want business to operate. Uh, and we will do our part to cut red tape.